Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about weight on the moon. By the end of this video, you'll be able to figure out how much you weigh on the moon and how much stronger you would be on the moon. Weight is determined by gravitational pull. All objects have a gravitational pull, even you, but your pull is too small to notice and far, far outweighed by the Earth's gravity. Sorry. The moon, while much smaller than Earth, still has a very large and noticeable gravitational pull. Gravity on the moon is about one-sixth that of gravity on Earth. Since the pull on your body is six times less, you also weigh six times less. So, to find out how much you weigh on the moon, just divide your weight by six. I'll use myself as an example. I weigh about 220 pounds, uh, pure muscle, of course. 220 divided by 6 equals a little over 36 pounds, which is about what my 5-year-old daughter weighs. This is also why you can jump so high on the moon. With the same force, you can jump 6 times as high. Michael Jordan had a vertical jump of 46 inches, which is nearly 4 feet. On the moon, he could jump nearly 25 feet into the air. Incredible. And to make you a superior athlete, you would also be six times stronger on the moon. That is, you could lift six times as much weight. For example, let's say you can press 150 pounds overhead. Very impressive. Well, take 150 and multiply it by six, and on the moon you could press 900 pounds overhead. Beast. If you're a student who wants to study less and learn more, subscribe here and then watch this video of mine that YouTube's algorithm handpicked for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.